Hi, in this video we're going to address a question like the following. Does this table represent an exponential function? So here we have a table, uh, x values, and here's the function f of x. Uh, so we have a function, but is it an exponential function? Okay, to do that, we need to check to see if we're always increasing by a constant factor. That is, we want to see as we go from one table entry to the next, is this factor we increase by always the same in each case? Like, for example, it could be doubling each time, or it could be tripling. In this case, it's not doubling or tripling. Obviously, these numbers are staying relatively close to 4.2. But are they increasing by some constant percentage? Okay, in order to do that, you want to find that constant percentage. And the way you do it is you take the ratio of the two numbers. So we take the ratio of two consecutive numbers. The first pair is 4.284, and then divided by 4.200. And we plug that into our calculator, and we get about 1.02. Okay? So that means that we're increasing by a constant factor of 1.02, or in other words, by 2%. 2% growth here. What about the next pair? Well, we have to look at that pair, 4.369 divided by 4.284, that gives us the, the factor by which it grows from x equals 4 to x equals 5. And if we plug that in to a calculator, we get about this, 1.0. It's a little different, but it's basically the same, right? Because if uh, 1.98 is very close to having 1.02, if I round up, it's just a very small difference. So I'm going to count this as a 1.02. Which means I'm also here increasing by 2%. Okay, let's check the last pair here. So if we take 4.457 and divide by 4.369, you plug it into your calculator, you should get something like 1.0214, which again is very close to 1.02. So since all these numbers essentially agree, we can say with a fair bit of confidence that this is an exponential function. Okay. In fact, we can say a little bit more than that. We can say that the factor of growth is 1.02. Uh, we could all say it's growing by 2%. But in terms of a formula, since all exponential functions look like f of x times k times a to the x, where this a is the growth factor, we can put a 1.02 here. So we have a formula now for our exponential function. 1.02 is the growth factor. That's what we computed here. Now the only thing missing here is k. How do you compute k? Well, you have other videos explain this, but let's go ahead and do it since we're here. Um, I can plug in for x any one of these values, and I'll choose 3. So if I plug in for x 3, well, f of 3 is 4.2. And if I plug in 3 here, I get 1.02 cubed, which you can put into your calculator, which I'll do right now, 1.02 cubed is 1.06. So this is the same as saying 4.2 is equal to k times 1.061. And now I can solve for k. k is equal to 4.2 divided by 1.061. And I can plug that into my calculator. And I end up with 3.9577. So, so now, now you know k. f of x is equal to 3.9577 times... 1.02 in parentheses to the x. So I got a formula. Not only did I find the factor of growth, I could also find the formula. Okay, uh, let's look at one more example, quick example. Does this table represent an exponential function? Well, again, same method. You want to 
look at the successive ratios. In this case, it's 1.92 divided by 2.41. That's the first. The second ratio is 1.54 divided by 1.92. The third ratio is 1.54 divided by 1.23. And if you plug these into your calculator, you'll see that all of these numbers are very close to 0.8. And since they're all the same, essentially the same number, we can say, yes, this is an exponential function. Okay, this has been a video trying to explain uh, when a table represents an exponential function.